Samuel prayed for Saul, revealing that he had been anointed ruler over his inheritance, the children of Israel. He told him that he would meet two men near Rachel's tomb, who would tell him that the donkeys he had been searching for had been found. Saul then went to the great tree of Tabor, where three men would worship God at Bethel and offer him two loaves of bread. He then went to Gibeah of God, where a procession of prophets would prophesy with him. The Spirit of the Lord would come powerfully upon him, and he would be changed into a different person. Saul's uncle asked him where he had been, and he told him that the donkeys had been found. He then went to the high place, where he stopped prophesying. Saul's uncle asked him about Samuel's message about kingship, and he replied that he had been assured that the donkeys had been found. Samuel then summoned the people of Israel to the Lord at Mizpah, who told them that the Lord had brought them out of Egypt and delivered them from the power of Egypt and oppressive kingdoms. He then instructed the people about the rights and duties of kingship, which he wrote down on a scroll and deposited before the Lord. Saul returned to his home in Gibeah, accompanied by valiant men, but some scoundrels despised him and brought him no gifts.